What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today uh, we're gonna go over the market crash yesterday. I actually have no MT, so like, if you roast me, it's 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 literally because I invested in a ton of players. So if you roast me. You're stupid because these tips and methods are going to help you get a ton of MT. So yeah, we're actually going to have a code word in this video. Uh, whoever gets the code word, we got a $10 giveaway. If we hit the like goal of 80, uh, 80 likes, 100 likes on this video, we're giving away an 80, a $10 PSN code. So whoever has PS4, we're going to have a code word in the video. So whoever gets the code word in the comments uh, has a chance of winning the code. Also, if you're on Xbox, you have the chance of winning 20,000 MT. So, that's dubs. So, let's get this video to 100 likes. I'll pick up a random commenter if we get to 100 likes. So, smash that like button. Let's go over the market. There's a lot to talk about. We're at 3,100 subs already. Already 900 away from 4K. Let's hit it. Let's hit it. So, if you don't know, I'm broke. You guys are like, what the hell? What did you pop packs? No. I bought everything in sight. Everything I saw, I bought. I bought Kobe. I bought Dewey. Oh my god, I'm so tired. I bought Cat. I bought Jamal Wilkes. I mean, I bought Sidney Moncrief, bro. No. No, that's not all I bought. I bought Curry. I bought Melo. I bought Yao. I bought Sidney Moncrief. I bought Pedro. I bought two Lamar Odoms. I bought a Will. I bought a Donovan Mitchell. It just keeps going. It's over a million MT gone. I have invested so much. Now we're going to go over pricing in this video. We're going to go over what happened yesterday. So, this is what happened. So, I'm going to explain everything to you guys. These packs are actually one of the most OP packs in the game just because all of these cards are usable. So, pretty much from here up, this is what destroyed the market. So, if you think about it, this Tony Allen right here is so OP and he's like 20 to 15 to 20k. He has better stats than Kobe, pretty much. So, I'm gonna compare him to my Kobe that I bought yesterday for around 85k, which is pretty good price. So, now Kobe, right? Let's compare him to Tony Allen. All right, so Tony Allen at like 15K or 20K is literally better than Kobe. I don't know how to say it. I mean, yeah, Kobe, it's Kobe, but Tony Allen. Kobe is faster and could shoot a little bit better, but Tony Allen has a great jump shot. He's got the rebounding that's better. He's got a way better steal, way better perimeter. He's also way cheaper, so... The reason why the market's crashing is because these cards are getting such good stats. People are selling. They're rushing to the market to sell their cards and get other players. So, also, if you guys don't know, I pulled Rondo. Rondo um, is really cheap, too. Pink Dot and Rondo. He's probably like a top 10 point guard. Top, I would say top 8 point guard in the game. It's just because he's short. So, Dian Rondo and Pink Dot and Rondo are on the same exact price. So, that's also kind of interesting. So, wow. He's 100k. How much is Pink Diamond? Pink Diamond's a little over 100k, but no one's really gonna buy the bid on him. So I would simply just wait a little bit for the what's it called? The buyout. So I sold mine yesterday for about 95. He could go up a little bit. He's a pretty good point guard. But honestly, I just want to get rid of him. I bought a couple ADs. I bought a Jordan. Pull the Jordan. We have so much stuff we're waiting to sell. And if you want to sell now, don't even ask me in the comments. Do not ask me in the comments if you should sell now. Because no, it's literally a simple no. We could maybe sell tomorrow. But bro, these packs literally went in the market and destroyed it. They literally freaking destroyed, destroyed. I missed a 20k Kyrie. I missed so many snipes yesterday. In general, Carl Anthony Towns died was at 30k. Yesterday he was at 60k, or two days ago he was at 60k. So right now, if you sell, you're crazy. You're gonna lose a lot of MT. I say Sunday night tomorrow is a good time, possibly sell. Could be a little later. I'm not sure though. And then if you don't sell by tomorrow, the stupid moments are gonna screw us up. So we are gonna have new moments on Monday. So I'm thinking either tonight or the next day we're gonna have to sell. Uh, Mark is definitely going to be a little slower today than yesterday, so it's going to be harder this night. Uh, but honestly, pretty much anything you saw, like, all right, for instance, I picked up two Spencer Dinwiddie's for the low. I got both of them for 20k. 
Why'd I get him? Because, bro, he has really good stats. He's 20k. He's a tall point guard. And you're never going to see a diamond. You're not going to see him at 20k for that long. He's, like, look, he's over 20k already. Like, he's, he's you're just not going to see him for that price. Over 30k. I got two of them. I mean, honestly, this is probably just lag. Yeah, perfect. I got two of them for 20 there at 31. So that's a star right there. Pretty much everything I bought yesterday, if you want any cards yesterday, almost guaranteed they went up minimum 5 to 10k. Minimum. So, did we took dubs. The Wilts, if you had Wilt stacking, bro, Wilt just keeps dropping. Because I think kids are being noobs and going onto other accounts and then dropping the codes on those accounts, playing a little bit, and selling the Wilts. That's what happened a couple years ago, if you don't remember when they had the Pink Diamond MJ, the Pink Diamond LeBron, the Pink Diamond Giannis. I don't know if it was last year or two years ago. But that destroyed the game, and honestly, it's still destroying the game. So, big L's, it's really not my problem, okay? I'm going to give it out. I'm probably going to sell two wills tomorrow because I need MT. I really do need MT. I cannot be on the auction house with this much MT. I'm going to be going through my collection, sell some shoes, sell some silvers, get my MT back up. But so yesterday, what did I buy yesterday? So I bought Spencer Dimity twice. I bought, I'm going to go over my collection right now. I bought Carlton Towns. I did not buy Mitchell yesterday. I bought Sidney Mockreep yesterday for 25k. One of the best guards in the game, low key. He's he can do everything, and his defense is amazing, and he's Hall of Fame clamps. So like, stat card. I bought him. Bought him for the low. I bought uh, Lamar Odom for the low, which I already showed you. I bought I bought Kobe for 90k. He's around 100 right now. I bought Carlton Towns for around 35. And then I also have another Carl that he towns. I, I bought another Spencer Dinwiddie. Uh, that's about it. But I spent like 400k yesterday on the on the market. Worth every penny. Worth every penny. Devontae Graham, Jordan. Bro. I've never seen a market crash like this before. Because like, I'm going to go over Tony Allen. For instance, this Tony Allen is probably going to have one of the most valued cars in the game in so long. I don't care what all you say. You're probably like, what the hell is this kid saying? Tony Allen. Is gonna drive the market down. DeAndre Aiden is gonna drive the market down. It's because they're just too good. If you think about how good they really are, if you really do, it makes sense, bro. Like, if this card for what 17k has all those stats, what makes you think he's not good? He has the defense. He has the offense. Right there. It's crazy. So like, I don't know. You know what? Co-word Tony Allen. That's what I'm going to say. co in the comments, Tony Allen. He is actually so good. I love Tony Allen. He's clamps. Literally, this lineup is not the same without Tony Kukoc. Just kidding. It's Tony Allen. But uh, also, if you guys do have Donovan Mitchells, I've been seeing a ton of comments about Donovan Mitchells. Let's go over a little bit of cards. So, we're at 142. I'm waiting. I am waiting because this card is going to be so expensive forever because Zach Levine is so good. He's probably one of the best overhyped not overhyped but hyped up shooting guard point guards in a game he's so good he, he destroys me every time i play him hold on to your donovan mitchells that's what i'm that's what i'm saying so donovan mitchell wait what else we got the yows yows i don't know he was looking cheap around 140 he is rising back up i'm telling you in 2k the market rises in one day so today chill out uh later you can, don't, you can sell your cards later if you think you can. But uh, I would say tomorrow night would be the best day to sell cards. Sunday, 10 o'clock Eastern. That's what I'm selling most of my cards. Literally, you guys can try it. Keep this low. Try to, at least. But yeah, sell your cards on Sunday is always the best day. So you have MT for the next moments the next day. That's been my method for the longest time. If you guys don't know, you don't know. You're not an OG sub. So uh, yeah, try out that method. All these cards I picked up are dubs already, and it's literally been... I picked them up yesterday night. It's been like 10 hours. I'm already dubbing out. So, you listen to my methods. You could pick up some cards now. There are some cheap cards that are going to continue to rise, so try to. I would stay away from the Rondos, though. I would try to hop on a Tony Allen boat if you want. Other than that, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and also... Core Tony out again. Make sure to go check out my coin sponsor if you do want coins. Make sure to check them out. Use bugs at checkout. Anyway, so hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for a gameplay after this. Hope you have a good one. Peace.